What's going on, everybody? Strideberg back at it again. Last time we went to the Dragons, then got our badge from that bitch Claire, and got a Dratini that we properly deposited because I'm not using Dratini on my team because I already got a full team. So as you see here today, I yet again have Chomper, my Granbull, and Inferno, my Typhlosion deposited because we're going after yet again another gift Pokemon because they're really starting to add up in this game. We have quite a collection in our PC. So obviously we're going to have to have our bag uh, full, uh, an empty slot, and then I have uh, one my HM slave, Slave, which I actually don't need in the party right now, so I don't know why he's here. But I also want to show off this. So I top Polaris Waterfall, and this is temporary. I got rid of a Surf via the Move the Leader. Because coming up right here anyway, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, carry, I tried to find a way around it, but if I want to keep, I'm going to have to get rid of a good move on somebody, which I won't be able to get back, if I, uh, teach someone Whirlpool, which I'm going to need. So I just taught it to Slave, and then I'll bench either, uh, uh, Inferno or Soothsayer, who are to have everyone forward to Victory Road, your Champions Road, whatever you want to call it, portion. But there's some other stuff I want to do in here, so I guess that's why I have Slave. So, yeah, LOL. And plus those two are way ahead of everyone. So, yeah, you know, well, Chomper's 33, but, you know, Inferno's 36. And I kept Soothsayer in because I might, I don't want to accidentally wipe out, and Soothsayer can pretty much knock out both of these Pokemon in one hit that we're going to be facing. So, we're going to be on after Karate King. This is uh, the guy from, like, that pseudo gym in uh, Kanto. We had like, like he was like imitating the gym leader or whatever. Which real quick, another reason why I brought a slave here. I want to grab these apricots. These are some of the rare ones that you don't usually find. So I have actually the rest of these deposited in my PC. So the pink, green, and I forgot what the other color is. Yeah, I definitely want to grab these because then I could start making some balls out of these. So I'm getting quite a lot of balls uh, of uh, of uh, a good collection with Kurt build up. As you could, uh, I believe I have some Ultra Balls deposited too in the PC. As you see in my uh, Pokeball department, I have uh, six Fast Balls, six Lure Balls, five Level Balls, seven Heavy Balls, and four uh, Ultra Balls. So we have uh, quite a collection. Wait, did I? Oh, shoot, I forgot to check. Oh, Green Apricorn. So what was the other one? I forgot. Was it yellow? Yeah, I think it was yellow. Okay, yeah, so now we just got to go into here, and we'll start our journey in Mount Mortar. So yeah, we didn't explore this entire place when I uh, went here originally, even though we could have done some of it with strength, because I want to do it all now that I have strength. So yeah, which, oh, yeah, it was up. Yeah, it was up. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, where is my Max Repel? Okay, which really I should be buying Super Repels. I don't know why I bought Max Repels. I just didn't feel like going to another place. But yeah, so now we can do this entire place, and we also have a waterfall, so we can do a good chunk of it. So uh, there's the waterfall uh, fall right there. I don't really know what else to call it. Uh, yeah, there's some other stuff. I guess we'll just start off by doing this. Yeah, we have to click right on it. So yeah, waterfall is 80 power. It's not as good as Surf, but it's still passable, which I should be fine for the time being on uh, on uh, a Polaris. So... Aha! Yeah, so yo, you wanna go down, bro? Yo, Marcus! My name's not Marcus. Who, who, who are you calling Marcus? I am Matt. I'm a ten-year-old boy, and you look like a, a, a child predator. Super nerd Hugh. You literally look like a predator with your Cedra out here. You know, not like we had to deal with enough of these assholes. Level 39, uh, uh, no less. So yeah, let's go for a spark. Go for smoke screen. Oh god, fuck smoke screen. Seriously, smoke screen could go screw itself. It is the most annoying move other than double team ever. Yeah, Spark. It's uh, it's a good seven levels ahead, so I don't think I'll knock it out. Even though Cedra doesn't have the best special defense. Crit. Yeah, attaboy Polaris finally getting those crits. So yeah, Polaris up to level 33. So let's go. Point and learn Confuse Ray. This is the move I've been waiting for. Confuse Ray. Now that I can't learn Blizzard, will be a part of my team because you know. Lantern can learn Waterfall, but not Blizzard, which makes no sense. So Confuse Ray and Thunder Wave will uh, form a pretty deadly combo, so I think it'll work. I'm gonna get rid of Ray and Nance, so I don't really use it. So yeah, Super Nerd Hugh was defeated, because you know you're a scrub. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, it is your mistake, you cuck. Oh, is there something up here I missed? Slave, you surf. Yeah, I'm not using, I'm not bothering, which I don't really know. I guess, like, I literally benched one of my Pokemon just so I could get those Apper, just so I wouldn't have to get those Apricorns off screen. But yeah, I'm not even bothering using Polaris, you know. I'm just using Slave. Here's a Max Potion. Max Potion now is pretty good. I have a good amount of them uh, deposited in my PC, so. Yeah, you always gotta stay updated with that, because, you know, then you're gonna run out of space and you're gonna have to toss something. It's really freaking annoying. Dun, dun. Yeah, Mount Mortar's a pretty cool place. I really wish they gave it a bigger uh, role in the remakes and Hark Gold and Soul Silver. Just that's 
probably the only negative thing I have to say about Heart Gold Soul Silver, like ever. Seriously, those games are masterpieces. Yeah, my name's not Marcus Hugh. Don't call me Marcus. Seriously, do I look like a Marcus? You know, I look like a Matt. As we go here, get ready to get the most badass TM ever. Ready? TM40 Defense Crawl. Like, that would have been good early on in the game. I don't get why they didn't give us to that then. Like, that could have been a good move, but it'll raise your defense one level and does increase the power of rollout slightly. So, I don't know. You know, I've, I've already got rid of it on a Quaker, so I'm not going to teach it. So, I'm just going to sell that TM. And Repel War Off. And Max Repels do give the extra 50 steps. They're pretty good, but Super Repels are more cost effectively, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, I'm all about that money. Okay, crap. Uh, where are you? Yeah, I'm definitely running low on bags, so I just haven't deposited stuff in a fat minute. So if you go over here, you get an escape rope, so it'll help you get out of here. Actually, I'm probably going to use that since I don't want to dig on anyone anymore. Uh, if you always see crevices, you always want to check it. Dun, dun. Okay, I'm now up here. And I knew it! Okay, I knew that there was going to be some sort of fuck up. So, uh, Mystic Water. Uh, Slave, take it. And now good old the dragon skill just raises uh, dragon types, moves, powers by 10%. So if you have something with dragon breath or outrage, which I don't think you could even get something with outrage right now. Well, you can, but, you know, like level like in the 50s. So yeah, that'll boost it up 10%. Dragon's not really the best attacking move in this game. They're, the more, uh, they're genuinely, oh, almost dropped down the ledge. Genuinely the most powerful types. Dun, dun, dun. It's an item up here. Yeah, there are a lot of kick-ass items in here, so you definitely want to you know, get all these items. And I knew it. Wow. Wow. Okay, uh, is there anything I could use right now? Uh, is there anything that, like, I don't need? Alright, Orenberry, I don't need you, Toss. Okay, and then we keep this iron, which we're gonna use it right away, so we'll actually have a free spot in our bag, which... So just... Actually... I know I keep giving my stuff the Lantern, but I actually want to give this to Chomper, because I think Chomper could use some defense. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to Chomper once I uh, deposit him out of the PC, which is another item we'll have to get from down there. There's a whole bunch of good items in here. Okay, just making sure I'm not missing anything, because it's very easy to miss good items in here. Like, this is definitely a spot you want to go. You can, even if you don't want to use Tyrogue, you can still get a lot of good plays, which Tyrogue is the Pokemon you end up getting. Kind of a lot bigger of a cave than people realize, too. Max Revive, what do you mean? I already... Oh, I didn't use the iron, that's right, damn it. Actually, I'm kind of pressed right now. Okay, I already have way too many. I already gotten a ton of stuff with blue apricorn, so let's just toss this. And then we'll get this max revive, which is definitely an item you don't want to miss out on. Alright, guys, uh, we're getting low on bag space. We're having to toss my precious, my precious apricorns. You know, I'm not, a, oh, I'm not about that at all. Dun, 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 This is definitely a cool little place. I like to do all the, ex I do like to do all the extra stuff in this game because I'm all about that really, real 100% completion. It's not 100% completion unless you're defeating everything possible in the game. Yeah, here's a strength thing, uh, Boulder, I was telling you about. So yeah, Quaker, you could just do it. Yeah, just, just headbutt it with your trunk. Even though you don't even use headbutt anymore, use return. Just like smack it with your trunk. So I believe there's a rare candy down there, so that's certainly an item we don't want to miss out on. Uh, rare candy? It's up here. Oh, there's a car bus. Damn it, I, what do you mean I can't carry any more items? Okay, fine. Black Apricorn. I'm not getting rid of the pink, yellow, or green, though. It's a car bus. I'll raise a special stats of a Pokemon. Uh, or is that Calcium? I get it confused. That raises speed, so do I want to give this to anyone or do I want to save it? Actually, I'm going to give this to Polaris. I think Polaris could use some extra speed. Polar uh, Lantern has pretty good speed, but it could always... Uh, you know, I could always use more. Uh, definitely want to try to get you into a speedier Pokemon. Or maybe it's a hidden item. Let me check all the peaks and crevices. Okay, I guess there's not a rare candy there. I could have sworn there was. 
Or maybe it's like right here. I guarantee it's like the one spot I'm not looking. Oh, shit, there it is. And of course, now I have to go all the way around. Wow, I am a, I am a real trooper here, guys. So gotta go all the way around because I hopped over that ledge. And oh, holy shit, wow, wow. Oh, crap, another item. God, I'm like losing track of these items. Gotta find a hyper potion. Really good item, heals up 200 health. So yeah, yeah, you definitely want to go here with all the great items that we're getting here. And yet another item. A max ether, but I can't carry any more. Okay, yeah, I can always get more of these, uh... Uh, more of these, uh, apricorns, so... Uh, I really don't want to do it, but... No! And that's... I literally spent... I got them in this episode, now I have to toss them to make room for better, superior items. I'm sorry. Sorry, my apricorn brethren. Don't worry, I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll do, like, the cheap thing that I said that you could do, where, like, you can just reset the clock and then keep getting more apricorns. Trust me, that's, like, a really cheap thing that you could do, that you totally need to do. Oh, yes, there it is, a max revive. But I could put another max revive in, but heaven forbid, you know, I put a freaking, like, ether in my bag. It has, you know, that just doesn't make much sense at all. And here's a Karate King, so... He uh, uses uh, fighting types, obviously, so I'm gonna go ahead and put suits there up front. Uh, so let's go and fight him. Yeah, this is uh, the guy from uh, yellow, red, blue, and yellow that was uh, in like that suit. Hey, I'm the Karate King. I train alone here in the dark. Yo, battle with me. Yeah, he said that really weird. Which you train alone in the dark? Uh, you're a you're a fighting type uh, master, my but my guy. Which crap? I went. Damn it! I wanted to put the ambulance coin on uh on Seuss there, not the damn, uh, not the damn, uh, uh, black glasses. So now let's go for Cybin. Hitmon Lee does have a really good special defense, so it might actually survive. Hitmon Lee is a pretty good Pokemon. We, uh, ran one of them, to one of them in, uh, Chuck's gym, uh, one of the gym trainers, so. And boom, Seuss there is just such a beast that Hitmon Lee is not gonna take it. Next up he's gonna have his Hitmon Sham, but not a Hitmon Top. That's, uh, Bruno of the Leaf Ford. I'll have one of those. Hitmonchan has elemental punches, but it's not really useful into Gen 4. But of course, it is really good in Gen 4, especially with the Iron Fist's ability that boosts the power of punching moves. So yeah, Psybeam will completely slaughter Hitmonchan. And it's dead. So yeah, you just got wrecked, Black Belt Kayo. Rawr, I'm beating. Beaten. Yeah, I'm crushed. My training, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, now he's gonna get as proof that I defeated you, like, you know, no one can defeat you. So he's gonna give us Tyrogue. We could have gotten that from the Odd Egg, but you could also get it here for sure. Uh, it could evolve into three different Pokemon, Hitmonlee, Chan, or Top. All of them are pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna nickname it. So yeah, it's a fighting type, it evolves. Um, uh, it's completely random. It's, like, based on, like, attack or, or, like, special attack, defense. So you have to, like, there's, like, a real weird algorithm you have to do. So it only knows Tackle right now. If you could have caught this thing earlier, it would be a pretty useful Pokemon and pretty wide, widely used. But unfortunately it wasn't, so it's not really widely used. So I need to go get that item, which I'm convinced is a rare candy. And I'm certainly not gonna, you know, pass up a rare candy. Which actually, wait a second. Haha! -ha. I give the spell tag to Tyrogue that won't take up the spot in my bag. So I don't have to toss another one of my apricorns. Let's go! That item here? Okay, no. Let's get that rare candy, and then we'll be out of here, and then we'll be on our way to catching the legendary Pokemon Suicune, which I am pumped to do, because the last legendary Pokemon we caught was Mewtwo, and this is going to be the first of uh, six we're going to be catching here in uh, Crystal, so that's pretty, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty fun, pretty pu hump, yeah, pump for it, so now we got to hunt down this rare candy, so yeah, I bet you guys are all all pumped for me to find this rare candy, which I'm not actually going to be using before the Elite Four, which my whole reasoning behind that is there is a tougher challenge uh, after you get into a, uh, after you get into a uh, Pokemon, or not Pokemon, not, what, am I, what am I talking about? There's a tougher challenge once you get to, uh, wait, I, I need to go all the way up, don't I? Yeah, there's a tougher challenge once you get to uh, the end of the game in Kanto, and since it's obviously harder for your Pokemon to level up that way, you're certainly going to want to give it to them as late as possible. So that's when I will give up, uh, disperse out all of my rare candies. But you know, I didn't know, uh, freaking Polaris could, like, shuffle that fast. Like, did you see that? Like, go watch that again. And comment below, like, how, how fast, how many miles per hour do you think that was? Because I, there's no way a lantern can move that fast, I'm sorry. Like, Polaris, if you could move that fast, like, shit, you could just straight up murder people. Oh shit, there's another item here. Oh, this is a rare candy. Now what's that? Now I'm not gonna find the other one. 
Yeah, rare candy. My other rare candies are in the PC, so we don't have to worry about those. But now we have rare candy take on the stuff, so we're gonna throw away another apricorn. Yeah, like, not even I'm... Like, I think I, knows, uh, I know uh, Pokemon pretty well, and not even I'm ready for all these item, damn items that we're finding in here. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I don't usually do this area, either. Like, there has to be, like, a hidden item here. There's no way there's not a hidden item right here. Okay, I guarantee I missed it. I'm convinced that there has to be a hidden item here. Really, I move one step. I move one step. Really. Really, to run to this damn radicate. Well, let me guess, it's gonna be a bitch radicate. Oh, that's not really a bitch radicate, okay. No, Raticate, suck my dick. Die, die. The Soothsayer just side beams it. It's like brains get crushed. It's like flies everywhere. You know, I just kind of casually walk. And I survived. Are you serious? How did this thing survive? Soothsayer, go to jail, really? No, screw it. Iron Tail, even though it's probably going to miss. And yes, it missed. I knew it would miss. Because I'm just that pissed off that I can't find that item down there. And now I'm going to keep going for Iron Tail, even though it's the lowest accuracy of all my moves. Yeah, screw off, Raticate. Okay, yeah, I should probably heal up. Or, not heal up, use another repel. Yeah, um, I really hate caves. They're my least favorite thing in all of Pokemon. I don't know, except for Lieutenant Surge's gem. Which we're gonna have to get to. Yeah, whenever you don't think you have to deal with Lieutenant Surge, you have to deal with Lieutenant Surge. Which, not actually him himself. Just his damn gym puzzle it takes, like, two hours to do. That's all luck-based. Like, you can't even you can't even look up a guide on it. Because, you know, it's all luck-based. So, you're just gonna, like, not know what to do. You, you just have to click all those things, and it's just gonna take two hours. And it always trolls you, too. It's all, you always think you're gonna get it, but then you don't. Like, seriously, comment below if you know my pain of Lieutenant Surge's gym. Because, so yeah, now we need to go all the way through here to get back to that ladder. Okay, now we are back down this ladder, so... And holy shit, another goddamn item. Oh my god, more items! What the hell? Okay, more repels. And now here we go, we get to this, which is a max potion. Now we just gotta get to those other ones. A nugget! Oh, I gotta make space. So I just wasted time grabbing those apricorns in the beginning of this part, essentially. Like, seriously, like, those are my pride and joy. You guys don't know how hard it is for me to have to throw these away. And now I can, of course, fit another Hyper Potion in, because, you know, of course, Pokemon. You know, I, have, I already have, like, ten Ultra Balls in, so they can fit fine, you know. Okay, guys, this has been Stridebreaker. I think I got everything. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys when we catch Suicune next time.